Coming up on today's episode of Airborne and Manned, USAF and Drone Racing League expand partnership. Also, Drone Delivery Canada announces projects for Edmonton International Airport. And ERAU Eagles built drone win third overall at international competition. Hi, I'm Kimberly Cade. Welcome to the Air News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International, USAF and Drone Racing League expand partnership. The United States Air Force and the Drone Racing League are expanding their partnership ahead of the 2021-2022 DRL Alliance World Championship season. Following a successful partnership with the league over the past four years, the USAF added new DRL activations, including custom content, virtual drone racing experiences, and season broadcast integrations that will inspire drone pilots everywhere to aim high and prepare to fly. Tapping into DRL's fans, who are 23 times more likely to follow the USAF compared to the general U.S. population, this partnership will ramp up their pilot recruitment efforts as the global drone market continues to grow to an expected $58 billion industry by 2026. The USAF and DRL partnership activations include a new USAF DRL FPV 101 series featuring 50 video tutorials that will immerse drone fans into the world of FPV. Flight, educate them on basic maneuvers of drone navigation and gear them up with tips and tricks to fly drones like the DRL Pros. The first clip has been released on DRL's Twitter feed with more content rolling in throughout the remainder of the year. After the break, Oshkosh is less than two weeks away. More news after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. AirVenture may be your destination, but shouldn't you also have a great experience during your flight to and from? Battle Creek Executive Airport is the home of Waco Aircraft, the world's leader in new production sport biplanes. Enjoy a beautiful new FBO, extreme fuel discounts, a glimpse into Waco's manufacturing facility, and the gourmet Waco kitchen, an upscale dining experience serving farm-to-table American-European fusion cuisine. Experience AirVenture. Experience Waco. We'll see you on the ramp at KBTL. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. So, let's go ahead and start with Volocopter acquires a new company. Volocopter reports that it has secured production organization approval in compliance with IASA Part 21G. The company is acquiring DG Flugzubau. Through this acquisition, Volocopter believes itself to be the only eBTEL company holding both the required design and production organization approvals to advance its aircraft towards commercial launch. As part of its acquisition agreement, Volocopter will integrate DG Flugzubau aircraft production segments and IASA Part 21G POA. The entire team of highly specialized manufacturing experts will join Volocopter's production and workshop teams. Oshkosh is less than two weeks away. The world's greatest aviation event, EAA Air Venture Fly-In, returns to the game in less than two weeks, from July 26th until August 1st, and the ANN crew will be there in force. 
airborne will be produced each day from the grounds at Whitman Field. And a serious cadre of aviation videographers, photographers and journalists will keep you up to date on all the news. Be sure to check out Airborne all week as well as our home news site at the website you see on your screen. NASA selects Aura for Advanced Air Mobility National Campaign. NASA has selected Aura Network Systems as the agency partner for its Advanced Air Mobility Project National Campaign to continue work towards integrating air taxis, cargo delivery aircraft, and other new air vehicle concepts into the national airspace system. NASA made the announcement late last week that Aura has been named an infrastructure partner for demonstrations as well as for additional communications, navigation, and surveillance flight testing activities. Atlas V rocket assembled for Starliner launch to ISS. United Launch Alliance's Atlas V rocket has been assembled in preparation for Boeing's much-delayed Orbital Flight Test 2, launched to the International Space Station as part of NASA's commercial crew program. To verify the rocket is ready to launch, technicians will soon power the Atlas V to test flight controls, check the engine steering profiles, and conduct a combined systems test. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Drone Delivery Canada announces projects for Edmonton International Airport. Drone Delivery Canada, with the assistance of Air Canada, has entered into multiple commercial agreements with each of Edmonton International Airport, Apple Express Courier, and Zing Final Mile to deploy DDC's drone delivery solution at the airport. DDC will enable defined route delivery from EIA to deliveries off airport property utilizing the Sparrow drone and its drone spot takeoff and landing zones as well as additional drone flight infrastructure as required. The customers will use DDC Sparrow delivery drone solution to support and transport a wide variety of cargo. All operations will be conducted in accordance with appropriate Canadian regulations. Flights will be remotely monitored by DDC from its Operations Control Centre located in Vaughan, Ontario. TDC will commence deployment of site infrastructure shortly and expects to begin providing drone delivery services under the new commercial agreements in Q3 of this year. This deployment will be the first use of an automatic delivery drone solution to provide B2B cargo delivery at Edmonton International Airport. It will be the company's first commercial contracts in Alberta and with courier companies. Coming up after the break, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University places at international competition. More on that after these messages. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University Eagles built drone win third overall at international competition. Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University students score big at the American Institute of Aeronautics and Aeronautics 
design built fly competition, which pits university students from across the world against each other in challenges meant to test their skills in fabricating and demonstrating electric powered radio controlled UAVs. Comprised of 25 aerospace engineering students, the Eagles team's design featured a towed sensor, a torpedo like tube with tail fins for stability that it stowed inside the aircraft, then can be deployed in flight and won third place overall, second in the United States, making the best finish ever for an Embry-Riddle team at this event. The team was forced to make many operational adjustments due to restrictions imposed by COVID-19 pandemic. Most notably, time in the lab was limited, which, according to senior Caleb Reeves, the team chief's engineer, was the biggest obstacle to overcome. In the past year, we practically lived at the lab, he said. We would do homework, talk, and work on the plane as we pleased in our spare time between classes. This year, we were restricted to about six hours a week and just 12 members allowed inside at a time. Needless to say, this threatened to put a damper in our progress. However, the team rose to the challenge. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with store ideas or just to say hi. We hope you enjoy the show. Thanks for watching.